constitutional lawyer in us at the moment. In fact, we have had through the winter break and into this sitting. But uh, let's remove that hat for you now, Anthony, and just put on the uh, election analyst hat. If worst came to worst for Barnaby Joyce, a by-election in New England would follow. I suppose if he could renounce his New Zealand citizenship in time, uh, that would suggest, and, and that he ran again, uh, this is a pretty comfortable national seat, the last election confirmed for us? Yes, it's a very safe seat. Now, he had a race against Tony Windsor at the last election, and no doubt there would be some thought whether Tony Windsor would run again. But if Barnaby Joyce has sorted out this citizenship he didn't know he had and never, never wanted in the first place, if he sorts that out, then, then he can run at the by-election if he's disqualified and has to have a by and there has to be a by-election. Um, and you'd imagine the government would call that as quickly as possible after the court judgment, uh, which would make it harder for anybody to run a campaign. For reasons him. that Tony Burke, I suppose, highlighted in question time there, the, the legitimacy of the government uh, hangs in the balance, doesn't it? Yes, although um, uh, it's, I, I, I wait and see whether um, they will run that argument for a, a considerable amount of time, because no doubt there are people sniffing around at the records of several Labor members, as, as Christopher Pine said. Um, so if they go too hard on this, they may find it bite, um, coming around to bite them again. Yeah, well, they're certainly playing it hard today. We, As you say, there are plenty of questions being asked for weeks now about uh, Labor MPs. So uh, Labor's amped it up today, but may not sustain it for very much longer. Andy Green, uh, we'll leave it there for now. Thank you. Thank you. So this uncertainty will hang over Barnaby Joyce for quite some time, even if the High Court deals with these cases that we were discussing with Anthony as quickly as possible. Don't forget, it's also got to consider the legality of the postal survey on same-sex marriage, and that's due to be considered in the middle of next month.